to the end, the title track. Not much to say about it, really. It's just a song. Um, again, this one is a song about you know life in general and uh, succeeding and keeping on and, and staying true to yourself. Um, the lyrics kind of like were taken directly from um, a, a couple of verses were taken directly from a, a, a poem that I'm kind of very fond of and, and I've used on virtually every album that I've mm. recorded since you know since since for victory back in the day with uh, my former band. You know, so every album I've, I've done, I've kind of fe- the, every one song on on the album has featured uh, a track from this poem, which is called "For the Fallen" by uh, Lawrence Binion. And this song in particular features uh, two verses out of that uh, of that poem. And um, lyrically, it fitted really, really well. And it's it, it stood out, yeah, to to be yeah the standout track for me in many respects, and was clearly the the title track for the album. Yep, it's about keeping on and staying true to yourself and believing in yourself. And um, you know, there's I've, there's two more there's two more verses from that poem which I haven't used yet, and we've got potentially two more albums to do. So and an EP and an EP. Yeah, I'll have to make some up. <laughs> yeah, they uh, again. This is a, another track. I actually finished it with uh, Frank in the room doing his. Uh, I'll have a little drink and just sit in behind in the in the studio room and uh, just watch over watch over him create these tracks and every now and again he'll pop up and say that's that's a riff we'll have that it was one of them tracks i've got the initial riff the uh, the chord sequence and i um, i put the leads over to follow them and it just all fell into place uh, again another track with quite a few riffs in out of the box that we wouldn't normally do um but i think that it all works again and yeah, Can't keep doing the same thing all the time. Absolutely, yeah. I think I think when, with the uh, with spikes kind of like drums or the other way, it kind of follows, follows the pattern and uh, hits yeah. really hard. I think that really really works well and and defines that song uh, as a very strong uh, track off the album. And that's why uh, it's the top. This is why people disappear. Uh, that's why it's the top title track. And uh, yeah, it's, it's come out really well. Again, when I was doing this, I put a lot of time and effort into the drum parts. Um, the song has got a lot of different bits in it, so it's it's almost a little bit like a sort of, you know, like a little bit of a prog rock thing, I think. I don't know if that's the intention of Scott Adwell if he's doing it, but it's got a lot of bits, so, you know, drumming-wise, I wanted to reflect that and, and come up with uh, appropriate parts. I spent quite a bit of time working out the intro, which I was struggling to, 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 to catch the accents in, but I got it in the end. And uh, when I went to have one rehearsal with the band, it was one of the songs that we had to bash at, and uh, they really liked, you know, like what I'd come up with. So uh, I made sure to get a good version down, when, you know, in the studio when we were when we were recording. Uh, it become it becomes a very intense track, though. It, it, I didn't envisage it coming out the way it did, the way it was it built up in the end. It was really intense and it's actually a good song now i'm thinking about it i should actually play those songs to remind myself but tend not to play them once we've recorded them 